Okay, folks, so I'm going to start this video out with a little uh, video from the show itself. And then I want to get into a, you know, walkthrough video of this uh, 48 Alexander. The, the live feed didn't go so well. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But uh, I'll throw some music to this and then just do a quick little walkthrough of this 48 Alexander. And it is in the boat show. It is listed. And I will add the listing to the bottom if anybody was to be interested in the See, boat. Just beautiful lines. Absolutely gorgeous boat. Now I'm going to walk around the show for a second. So again, like I said, they're just getting set up right now for the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. All the fountains right there. All the swift trawlers. It's a 62, a 48, a 41. Fountains are well represented. See the 41, as you can see the new N41 Nordhaven here. Freaking love these boats. I think that I believe that one next to it, it doesn't say on the side here, but I believe it's a 65. Look at that, it's just beautiful. I think it's just a monster compared to the yeah. 41. The 41's cute, isn't it? But just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boats. Lots of boats out here. Look at this top deck, 65. Jesus, that's just sick. <laughs> it's the one that was blocking me this morning from coming in. Look at this thing. This thing is massive. Saline's all lined up over there. Saline's, I think. Look at that. That beast right there. Oh my god. For the lucky few, huh? This beast, my God. Uh. Just a quick walk around video, kind of show you what's going on here. I leave early in the morning. Gotta get up around, I think it's four. Four o'clock in the morning, six o'clock fight. Back to uh, Pensacola. I don't have anything booked right now. A couple things working. Look at that thing. Something sick. Benetos. Look at all this. Is that crazy? Beautiful. Walking these big. Uh, these big beautiful doors just like one inch thick glass right here uh, sliding glass door 
you come into the main salon right here. See Joel there uh, doing his uh, calcs and everything like that. He took uh, temperatures, exhaust temperatures, shaft temperatures, turbo temperatures, all the temperatures as we were uh, moving along. So then he's cleaning that up right there for every day that we were moving to see if there's any uh, major differences or anything like that. So anyway, you walk through the salon here, you can see this is a, our TV viewing area. And he's got the um, sound system right there that's all tied into the Garmin system. Garmin, uh, brand new, all electronics. Anyway, here's the inside helm station. Uh, you'll see in the upcoming videos, we are in here several times when it's raining. Beautiful place, it's not all cluttered. You don't see a bunch of junk in here. It's got the ZF transmissions. Uh, you know, just one shifters, not dual shifters. And then it, you can see right here, it's got the bow and stern thruster. So it makes it super, super maneuverable, especially with those uh, uh, shifters right there. You can almost uh, teach anybody to drive this boat because it's so easy to drive with those shifters. We come into the galley right here. This is an up galley, uh, granite countertops, double sink. That is actually a wash machine right there, microwave, stove, and a full-size refrigerator. So very cool. So this is a Europa-style trawler that you know, happens to be my favorite. Um, and we're gonna come down into the hall here and go down into the first head. This would be the guest or day head, if that's what you wanted to call it. We'll turn around here. So you can see it has a, a head in here and a sink mirror or cabinetry, cabinetry down below. Really nice toilets. Moving forward here, we'll go into the master uh, head right here. This is where the shower is at. So it's got a nice, uh, again, a, a same same toilets in both of them. And then a nice big shower to take a shower in at the end of the day. Then across from the two heads is the guest cabin. It's got a two bunk layout. So this is a bunk right here and then a bunk right here. This is the one I've been sleeping on. It's got its own air conditioner in here. Uh, lots of storage right over here behind the door and closet space. And then we come up here into the master and uh, you know, full walk around queen. Lots of headroom as you can see. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boat. Lots of closet space. So we'll come back out here. I'm gonna take you on the outside of the boat here. We are sitting here at the Fort Lauderdale boat show today. And we put it in here, I don't know, it's probably about three or four o'clock uh, this morning. Now, it was, uh, we got over here about nine or 10 o'clock this morning. You can see the two Yanmar diesel, 440 horsepower diesels. Uh, Joel is very, very picky about his engine room. He keeps it uh, immaculate, spotless and there's no water in the spillage anywhere. If there is, uh, it gets uh, cleaned up very, very quickly and he fi fi figures out where it's coming from and takes care of the problem very, very quickly. He does not like any water in the bilge at all, period. And uh, he keeps a very, very clean engine room. All right, so coming out the back door here, you got the two side doors right here. I absolutely love, uh, cause I can have access from either side. And then I have a back door right here. Uh, for you guys that like the teak decks, these teak decks are done correctly. And what I mean by that, there's no holes in there. Um, they're glued down correctly. So there's no holes, there's no, uh, these, these aren't leaky tiki's. So just beautiful sides of the boat right here. Plenty of room to walk around the boat. So make a great looping boat. It's uh, got a clearance height of about 18 foot, six inches. beautiful anchor here. We anchored one night, so we got to use the anchor. We stayed on the generator one night. Beautiful anchor locker right here. Just a gorgeous boat. It's just really, really nice. I'll take you up on the top of the flybridge there. Uh, we actually use the crane and the dinghy also. Uh, Joel is, like I said, he's putting it in the boat show. So we pretty much tested every system on the boat during our uh, four day you know, almost 400 mile ad adventure in it, coming from Sarasota, Florida, over here to Fort Lauderdale. It's not quite, it's about 350 miles. Spent a day down in the, two days down in the Keys, and then 
two days uh, getting here from Sarasota. So up here is where we do a lot of the driving. Just beautiful, beautiful captain's chairs. Look at these chairs, man. Nothing better than sitting in that chair. I can stand up on that, those foot rests right there and drive the boat, watching for crab traps. It's got brand new, uh, I just put a brand new dash in here. Brand new uh, Garmin 17-inch uh, screen, I believe. Autopilot right here. Again, this boat is turnkey, pretty much ready to go. Love these big walk around decks here. The dinghy comes on and off really easy. That crane right there. Um, part of the crane, the, the, the lifting part of the crane is hydraulic, and then the cable part is electric motor. Down here you have a barbecue. So it's got a built-in barbecue right here. And then a sink, and then underneath here is a washer and dryer. So you can see here we're at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. If you got any questions about the boat, you can call me. I've, like I said, I've operated it for the last four days. Probably, it is the nicest boat that I've probably been on and probably the easiest handling boat that I've been on. why it can't come under its own power. Anyway, make sure you hit that like and subscribe, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I do appreciate you guys. Thank you. Bye.